Hi online teachers, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Oregon. I am here visiting and I just wanted to take you with me and share a piece of this beautiful, beautiful forest. And the beach is just half a mile down the road. I absolutely love this place. So let's jump in. I love digital escape rooms. So in the, this video, we're going to cover what exactly is a digital escape room and why you should be teaching with digital escape rooms, especially as an online teacher. So let's jump in. What is a digital escape room? So think of like a physical, physical escape room. You're in a room, you're trying to look for clues and you have to find clues to solve puzzles to unlock a lock to escape the room. A digital escape room, same concept, it's just all digital. So I like to use Google Sites to create my escape room so that houses all of my puzzles, just like the room of a physical physical escape room. And then you have a series of puzzles that students have to solve a lockbox, which is, which is digital. They'll input their locks, in a Google form and it will immediately tell them if their lock is correct or not. Just like a physical lock box, you know you don't have the right combination immediately. I highly recommend adding an escape room into your online classes, whether that's a one-time class, just that escape room, or you can put it part of your curriculum as like a multi-day class or whatnot. The very last day is an escape room to review and cover everything you have taught. That brings me into our next point. Why should we teach with escape rooms? And the number one, they are highly engaging. I love participating. It's something different. It's something new. They're still practicing what you want them to practice through you know, all the questions they want to want to practice for any subject. They are just willing to f answer these questions. So escape rooms are highly engaging. Number two, there's a critical thinking element to it. Digital escape rooms require students to think critically and creatively. The, the puzzles are challenging and should be a challenge to get students to think differently and to help them think outside the box. Number three is a teamwork. Using a digital escape room requires teamwork. Your whole class is working together and not only can they work together to solve the problems, but they're working together to solve the puzzles. And since it's a group effort and it's a safe environment, it is okay to make mistakes and students find that it's okay to make mistakes. They don't have the answer right away. They don't have the correct answer right away and that's okay. They feel okay with that. Digital escape room allows them to practice teamwork, communication skills, leadership skills, all in one class, as well as learn the content you're teaching. Number four, digital escape rooms are great for absolutely any subject you are teaching. Whatever you're teaching, you can put it into a digital escape room. So for example, I'm teaching math. I love teaching math. So in order to practice word problems, I'm gonna put them into escape room. And now my students have to take what they know about solving word problems. They get to practice it in a fun and engaging way. They get to work together to solve these word problems, but they're all within puzzles and the story of the digital escape room. They have to solve this problem in order to get the answer to a lock, or they have to solve this word problem, a series of word problems, in order to find like a code or a cipher. And then it's going to link to another clue so they can uncipher the cipher. That's a word. So, so fun. So I highly suggest teaching a digital escape room anywhere in your class, whether that's a one-time class with the subjects you are teaching or within a multi-day class, students absolutely love them. So stay tuned for next week's video. We're gonna talk about how to plan and set up your digital escape room. So I'll see you in the next video. Leave a comment below if you live in Oregon or if you have ever visited Oregon or if this looks like a place you would love to visit. Leave it in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.